These days, it's more than economical to be DIY savvy, and it's also pretty hip and cool. Jill Krause, a hip and cool mom and creator of the popular Baby Rabies blog, is here to show us that making your own baby food can be easy, cheap, and something to brag about. Hi, Jill. Thanks Hi. for being here. Good to be here. I, I would have told you that I might not be up to this task when the baby comes, but I think you might be convincing me otherwise in a minute here. You know, it's super simple. And, and it doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing because I do plenty of store-bought baby food as well. Uh, but it's so easy to make things, and it doesn't take a lot of time and a lot of investment on your part. Mm -hmm. So you just need some basic kitchen tools. You don't need to invest hundreds of dollars in any sort of fancy baby food system. Because they do have a lot of those systems they for do. sale at the stores. And they work, yes. but yeah. you don't have to have them. Great. Yeah, so the first thing, this is a recipe by Catherine McCord of Weelicious, and she okay. has a great book out full of recipes for kids of all ages. And this is a delicious recipe for little palates. It is sweet potato and coconut puree with some cinnamon. Oh, it actually sounds really good. It, and it is good. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the first thing you want to do, it's so sweet potato, you don't have to bake it. You can just take your sweet potato, just poke it with a plate that's got a little bit of water in it. Oh, uh, yeah. And then you would just pop that right in the microwave. So we'll get that out of the way. It okay, would just go and in how long are they going for? For about eight or nine minutes. Okay. So I have some. That's so easy. Yeah, and if they come out, you obviously want to let them cool a little bit when they right. get out. But then they come out, and you just cut them in half, and you're ready to scoop the insides out. So if you want to grab one, here's sure. a spoon for you. She's putting me to the test yeah. here. <laughs> it's so easy. You just scoop the soft inside out. Okay. Stick it right inside your food processor. Oh. That was something like I would do. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not perfect in the kitchen by any means. But baby food makes me feel kind of like a rock star in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. It's so simple to prepare. Now, I heard while we're doing this, I heard that you should introduce the green veggies first. Is that right? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I, my favorite book is by Dr. Green called Feeding Baby Green. Uh -huh. and he talks all about the different processes and how you want to introduce flavors. Um, but yeah, there's different ways to do it. This is a third a cup of coconut milk. Okay. So you're going to pour that right inside here. And then if you want to grab that cinnamon, we have sure. a teaspoon of cinnamon to add to the puree and don't be afraid to introduce spices to baby because they really like it. Especially cinnamon, that's an easy one, yeah, right? It is. Yeah, and, it, and it'll make their palates more mature and they'll be more excited to try new things. I like that, things. I like that, okay. And just grind it up real quick. And then, depending on the consistency, this is more of a chunky consistency. Uh -huh. You can add a little breast milk or formula if you want to make it thinner for okay. a younger eater. You can go ahead and pop that right inside a wean green cube. A wean green yeah, cube. Spell it W E A N. -E -A -N. Okay. Green. Wean green. And yeah. what's special about those? These are dishwasher, microwave, freezer safe. Okay. They're very strong, durable glass. So they're great to put baby food in. Go ahead and if you think you're going to use it in the next couple days, put it in the refrigerator. Great. If you think you're going to use it in the next Next couple weeks, put it in the freezer. Will it stay that long? It will, yeah. Great. And then you can go ahead and take it out. You can pop it in the microwave. Always, you know, of course, check the temperature when you take it out before you feed it to baby. But these are great. You just pop these little lids right on and you have a little baby food container. Perfect serving size. Ready to go. Love that, that's great. Yeah. Love that, and you know, I think that it's nice to think that when you're doing this, you're really getting several servings out of it. So you're not yeah. having to make this every single time no. you have a feeding for in the fact, baby. In fact, I would go on Sundays and I would buy, you know, whatever organic in-season produce that I could, and I would spend about two hours and I would make food for two weeks. Makes perfect yes. sense, and then you're done. Yes. No uh, preservatives in those. <laughs> <laughs> My second favorite recipe is, this is something that you just wanna make when you're home with babies. So, because we well, all know that avocados and bananas, they kind of brown and sure. they grow. So this isn't really good for saving, but it's so easy to make and it's great for little palates. It's full of lots of great healthy fats. So you just have a half of an avocado and then you also, could you peel that banana for me? Sure, I'd be happy to. Okay, I have a towel around here somewhere. I'm gonna grab This sounds like something towel. that'd be good for us pregnant mummies too. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> eat, and that's a great thing about yeah. this baby food. It's, everything is something that I would eat myself. So, you know. Um, it's not like you're feeding your baby something gross. Right, exactly. So go ahead and Should put I a little break bit of it up in there? Yeah, and then you just mash it up with a fork. And that's, yeah, half of it is plenty. Half, okay. Yeah, and you would just mash them both together with a fork. And this is something that, again, you can make a chunky consistency for your more advanced eaters. Mm -hmm. And you can also make it a thinner consistency by putting it in your food processor, adding a little breast milk or formula or water to thin it down. That's and great. And it's a great first food. This was my children's first foods was avocados and bananas. That's wonderful. You want to go for soft bananas, huh? Yes, yeah, soft bananas and soft avocados. It takes a little bit of work, but then you're ready to go and sit down. And they, it really gets our little Texans ready for guacamole. I exactly. <laughs> that's exactly right. Two great recipes that are great for at home. 